impeachment of Kogi as deputy governor Atuba has been declared illegal by the High Court sitting in Lokoja. A High Court in Lokoja, Kogi State, has declared the removal of Simon Atuba, former Kogi deputy governor, by the State House of Assembly as null and void, according to a report by the Chinese television. Justice John Olorufemi, while delivering the judgment on Wednesday, said Atuba's removal from office by the Assembly was a violation of the Constitution and the subsequent nomination of Edward Onoja, a deputy governor, did not follow due process. Justice Olorufemi described the action of the Kogi State House of Assembly as a constitutional coup, harsh and executed in a democracy. Explaining further that the action was contrary to section 188, subsection 8, a section that stopped the assembly from further action, having discovered that the former deputy governor was not found wanting by the panel. The judge said the onus to produce the remaining volumes of the report purported to have indicted the former deputy governor rests with the defendant, which they failed to do. He pointed out that the, 20, the 29th defendant also did not file a counter notice describing the process of removing the former deputy governor as, following due, as not following due process. Achuba, who had earlier challenged his impeachment by the Kogi State Assembly and sought relief of the court to declare his impeachment as illegal and to be reinstated as the rightful deputy governor of the state. In their submission, counsel to the impeached deputy governor, Jibril Okutachi San, in a 13-page counter affidavit, submitted that the court should discontinue the application by the clerk, describing it as breach of court order 11 rule 2 subsection 4 and section 115 subsection 4 of the Evidence Act. Achuba was impeached in October 2019 by the members of the Kogu State House of Assembly. His impeachment followed the submission of a report of the committee set up by the State Chief Judge Justin Nasser Ajana to investigate an allegation of gross misconduct against the former Deputy Governor. This is to show how Nigeria, the level we should have got into. Just like Idris Adukarim sang a song some time ago, that Nigeria jaga jaga, everything scatter scatter, poor man they suffer suffer. <clears throat> we don't even know what to say in this matter. Because they say justice delay is justice denied. My own problem with this judgment is not as if they are not right. My own problem with this judgment is that this man has been impeached since October last year. And the, the tenor, the supposed tenor that he was supposed to serve with the governor, Yahara Bello, have enlarged. Because a new election has been conducted in the state. So the question now is that are they going to remove this current deputy governor and install him back as the new deputy governor? Because in my own little layman understanding, I know that the governor, a candidate of any political party, has a right to nominate his deputy governor, but he doesn't have a right to remove the person. Since a fresh election had been conducted, and a new deputy governor picked as only mate to the governor, to Yahaya Bello. So the question is, is it just to pay him his allowances for the last term that he was impeached, or is he going to be reinstated as the governor? So many people have reacted to this news. Like one of the reactions I have here, someone say, this now confirm. Another Wahala don't start for Kogi State. 
Na so then go here round. Hmm. This person is really angry. So somebody is also asking the question I'm asking that what thing will happen now? That's what the person said. He's asking what will happen now. Someone now say just payment of all his allowances, which we don't know. Some people have said that the judiciary is back, getting more and more independent. Is, is the judiciary really getting more and more independent? Someone came and said, court, 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 with the Nigerian youth didn't go to school to accept every verdict of the court, hook, line, and sinker. We went to school to make an impact in society and to uphold some good labors of our heroes' past. Nigeria's judiciary should better be up and doing. That is for the judiciary. Someone said, Wonders shall never end. <laughs> Nigeria, the drama is getting tough, fierce and fierce. Another one said, Action movie, Nigeria drama. We are, we are the court sleeping all these days. That's what I'm asking. Someone that has been in peace since last October, and now the court is giving a judgment today, where a new election has been conducted in that state, is all these things not causing confusion? Someone say, it's like the judiciary is beginning to wake up in Nigeria. And mo the question everybody is asking is, what is the implication of this if they don't go to appeal, if they go on appeal? I need a legal opinion. I just hope it's not a case of justice delay, justice denied. Pay all his entitlement for the period he was removed from office. End of story. I think that is the right thing they should do because I knew a fresh election had been conducted. Just as I said earlier, a fresh election was conducted in Kogi State in November. And they have even been sworn in into their new office. So I wonder what will happen and how this new this judgment now is going to affect this current administration. Let's watch and see. So please, my people, others have made their comment and their contribution known. I will be very grateful if you go to the comment section and share your opinion concerning this matter and many more with us. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time. Stay blessed with our week.